Did anyone even know this came out? I don't hear anyone talking about it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Altered Carbon Season 2. I actually really did enjoy the first season. I do admit there were some problems with this narrative structure. The world building was fantastic. Was it a little bit cryptic? Yeah. Was it a little bit up its own ass? Yeah. Did it totally botch the end of the season? The ending of the first season was terrible. Almost everything that he had gone through for the first six episodes was almost null and void. When you watch the recap for the first season, they do not mention anything about the actual reason why he has spun back up being to investigate that murder slash suicide of the whole meth rich people thing. And the second season really tries to make up for that. They even kind of tease it at the beginning with how he's brought back in this Anthony Mackie character. And that's just like, boom, that's out the door before even the first 30 minutes. Then we start to focus on him trying to find Falconer. And that whole relationship that was kind of in the background during the first season. There are some side story elements that are going on, like Poe trying to deal with his corruption. There's this whole kind of class war going on once again between the governor of the town as well as these rebel fighters. All the while, there's something that's taking down head meths. Like, not just killing them, but like erasing their existence. The show looks pretty good. However, I watched this on my phone. I know I'm probably making some of you squirm. But from what I could tell, it felt like there wasn't as much money in terms of the visual and the set deck design as there was in the first season. Maybe Anthony Mackie had a bigger price tag. I felt that there wasn't as much visual building. There was not as much world building. And I definitely can say that they drag the story out. They stretch it to the very nth of its existence. And why even while that's going on, they're still not actually establishing on stuff that could have been further established, like Jaeger. Jaeger is the head of the Protector, who is basically like a father figure to Kovach. And he's on this revenge trip because Kovach betrayed him. And that was something that they touched on in the first season and then they didn't touch it again. And they look like they're gonna make it a focus in the second season, but it kind of just never gets beyond the third step. They take three steps, but they never get this final step in terms of really closing this arc with this character. Anthony Mackie, I actually thought, did a really good job as Kovach. I really enjoyed the first dude. I thought he was cool too. And he definitely worked for that neo-noir sort of setup they were trying to do in the first season. However, they don't do it at all in the second season. They definitely drop that whole noir aspect that was very, very evident in the first season. This is trying to be its own entity, which is cool. I do like that they're trying to change it up. However, I don't know what they're going to do for the third season. I'm very curious actually to see whether they make a third season or not, because no one is talking talking about this. When the first season was being made out here in Vancouver, there was no way anyone could shut up about working on this show because of the amount of money that was going into it. Second season, almost not a peep. I haven't seen any ads on YouTube. I haven't seen any ads anywhere. I haven't even heard any radio shit. I noticed now that Netflix is showing what's in their top 10 for Canada. It's in its seventh. I started watching it the day after it was released and that's how little people care about this. I honestly think they're not going to make a third season. Altered Carbon season two is a okay time. Like I think you could watch it if you have a, a day to kill on your phone but it's not something that's very compelling to me i think that the first season had me more interested in it than the second season even though the second season is definitely a better narrative product i would say than the first one was and that's kind of hard to say so in the end i'm going to give altered carbon season two a three out of seven <sighs> It's unfortunate, too, because I was actually kind of looking to see Mackie as the main character. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.